Alrighty, we're down in the dungeon again, and we're gonna make a hot wire cutter for the mold for the power surfer. Um, gonna make the frame out of PVC. We're gonna tension a wire just using eye bolts and the inherent springiness of PVC. We're gonna run a guitar string or whatever I happen to have, maybe a mandolin string, through it and hit it with 12 volts. See if we can cut some fun. First thing we gotta do is cut the other one of these in half and drill it out. So we're gonna do that now. Alright, so we got it drilled out and cut. The holes go all the way through. However, I'll show you guys this. The bolts dumped. The bolts dumped all the way through. Amateur hour. But that's okay. So one of the bolts is just going to be locked in place with not sandwiched on either side of the PVC. So that's going to be fine. Um, and the other one, I want to be able to move the bolt through the nuts in order to tension the wire when it gets in place. All I'm going to do is just cut the chunk out of the back of this so that I have access to it a little bit easier than I do right now. So I'm going to take care of that right now. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So we got this chamfered now. And let me show you what I'm talking about with regards to being able to adjust. The eyeball. Let's get folks a little closer here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So the eyeball is just held in place with these two nuts, and to tighten the string, we're going to want to draw it this way. So all we got to do in order to do that is move this nut out, pull it taut, and crank that nut down. And if we really need to, we can use a socket wrench to crank that second nut down and that'll get us some real tension. I'm not sure we'll have to do that though, but anyway, on to assembly. PVC glue stinks something awful. I'm in enclosed space time, so I'm on to the respirator. So we're going to let this tear up, see you in two hours. Okay, we're back. Appear to be all, yeah, all seized up. It's already dust dripping from the ceiling on this. It's called the dungeon for a reason. All right, cool, excellent. All right, so we've got a frame. Uh, we've got two bolts from which we can hang this guy. I'm going to actually lay out these. So we have lots of room for pulling it in because the frame itself has a good amount of flex. And I don't know um, how tightly we're going to have to pull the string to make it the right tautness. or any of that business. Um, however, out of the different voltages listed for a hot wire cutter that I've seen, 12 is high. I'm running off of the um, an RC helicopter battery, which I use for lots of things. So 12 volts has just been pretty
pretty killer for a bunch of different projects because uh, that's what cars run off of. And RC helicopters, so all kinds of fun stuff. It's just available running at that voltage. So that's why I made that decision. Now we get to see if my ideas are intentionally correct. occupying space down in the shop. I'm going to do the wiring for the hot wire cutter upstairs right now. First thing I did off camera was I drilled a hole right here. The wires are going to come down through. I've got uh, some alligator clips, female connector that hooks up to the battery I'm using, a second guitar cable which I'm going to use to lead the wires through. Got some red and black, some solder, key trink, and solder. Let's do this. that we can replace it. For now, I just added some Velcro to the battery and the frame. Um, eventually, I'm going to make a proper holster for all this with a speed controller so that we can probably get variable temperature. That's the hope anyway. And now I'm going to plug it in and see if it gets hot and does not blow up and cuts things. So. Okay. I don't hear anything. Oh, I smell things. Oh, and I see color changing. Yep. All right. It's anodizing the steel out this really fast. Is it hot? Oh, it's so hot. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Totally works, dude. Don't want to breathe that. Set anything on fire. Smells like syrup. Oh! <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to get that speed controller in place ASAP. 
I burned it right through my wire. Would you look at that? I don't know if you can see that on camera. Tweaked right apart. Bummer. Shoot. I gotta replace that soon. Hmm. Alright, well it works. That's really cool. Let's focus on that for now. Uh, we've got two pieces of foam. The, the surface finish is really nice, actually. I was expecting it to be pitted and just kind of the way the foam gets when you cut it or work it with anything, which is terrible and messy. This is, this is nice. It looked like the string could probably have used more tension, too. It was sagging as I pulled it through, so that's good to know. Awesome. Well, I'm going to actually... I was ignoring all of the charts and electronics work. So I think I'm probably going to have to take a look at that to figure out exactly what it is that I need to do. Man, check that out. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. I guess we're going to do those improvements. Amazon Prime, here we come. Wait, 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 wait. Before I go crazy buying stuff on Amazon, I was just reading. Apparently the length of the wire and the width of the wire out of resistance, that much should have been obvious. The guitar string I was using on this, I believe, was a .012. And I read online that a, it was a 26 gauge wire is standard for lengths up to 26 inches in hot wire cutters. 26 gauge wire is 0 0.0159. I don't have a guitar wire that's that thick, but I have a mandolin wire that is. So before I go crazy buying speed controllers and all kinds of you know nichrome wire and stuff, let's give this a shot and see what happens. Two other things. Uh, thing one is apparently as the wire heats up, it's very bad to put tension on it, and I was tugging. So that might have been why the wire popped. And thing two is that when I guessed that I didn't want to be smelling the foam burning, I was right. So we're going to use this this time. Okay. All right. So we've got the, the thicker wire on. And i got to say, it didn't feel like a whole lot of a difference. But it swapped out. It's tensioned. I'm going to get the clips in place. Got a piece of foam there. Respirator's going on. Ow. Supposedly, it's, it'll work with very little pressure if it's working right. And the heat should just cut through the foam, so I'm not going to push on it at all. And I do see the color changing. I wonder if it's, a, you know, if the voltage from your amperage is strong enough. Let's find out. Beautiful. melted foam along the part that I cut, so it looks like the wire gauge thickness was enough. Let's see that recap in a way that you guys can actually understand. How about that, huh? It looks like the, the thicker wire did the job. We've got some foam residue on it, but that's really no big deal. So it looks like if you're running 12 volts and you're going to up to 26 inches, this is a 20 inch gap when it's under tension. You want a 15, a 0 0.015 inch or 26 gauge steel wire. That seems to have done the trick. Excellent. Well, I'm going to be using this primarily for molds, for boards, uh, but I can imagine that there would be a number of things that I'd want to use it for in the future. Super useful. Easy project. If you're interested in doing anything that involves foam cutting, quick and cheap, man. Just grab the parts and throw it together. It took less than 24 hours. And it would have taken even less time if I hadn't had to go buy things. Yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, if you want to see it being used, 
There's a video on how I made a snowboard mold. Right there. That's assuming that I can figure out how to work planks on YouTube. I haven't done that yet. Anyway. See you soon. I also know they're trying a thicker wires. More resistance? I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. When I say I know these things, it's a lie. Oh, messy. Lovely. It's the best. Do we use gloves? Um, one of them is going to be static, and the other one we're going to use. Give me a second. Hey, that actually is a little better. Cool. Come on, little guy. You got this. I believe in you. Neat. Meryl. 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 I've never done this before. So, I'm pretty excited.